Welcome back. This is um, a unit um, I review of electrostatics part two. All right, so we have um, here's a metal sphere that is that has no net charge that we placed in a uniform. This was a uniform electric field. Um, it turns out that it's not so uniform once you place this in here. You get some strange things happening with the field lines, but this is a uniform electric field. And this is a metal sphere that you put in there. And the question is, which way will it be pushed? Go ahead and see if you could figure out. Okay, the way it will be pushed is, um, let's see, the electrons will go opposite of the field. So this will build up some electrons over here, leaving this positive. And these electrons will feel a pull um, this way. And these positive charges will feel a pull that way because they're going with the field. And because the field is equally strong here and here, um, that's because the density of field lines isn't any stronger. The density of field lines is the same everywhere here. And so because of that, this force is equal to that force. So the net force is zero. Okay, next one. Here's an electric field. It's going this way. Question one. If I put an electron right here, which way would it zip? I put an electron right here. Which way is it going to zip? It will zip this way. Okay, let's let it zip way out of sight. And now I'm going to take that metal sphere and I'm going to put it here again. Put that metal sphere there. And when I do that, uh, uh, which way will this now be forced? Uh, uh, the net charge on this metal sphere is zero. Equals zero, no net charge. Which way will this be pushed? Okay, the electrons will zip this way. And the uh, there'll be a positive charge here. Now, unlike the last time, the field is stronger. Wherever the field lines are more densely packed, that's where the field is stronger. So these will feel a bigger force than these, even though this is the same negative charge as that, the same magnitude of charge here and here, because the net charge is zero. This is going to feel more. This is going to feel more force, and so there's a net force that way. All right, next one. Okay, we have a positive charge uh, in this region of space. This is an X and Y coordinate system. So this is a space, a region of space, and this is the charge Q. It's at 2A. And um, I'd like you to try and graph what the electric field looks like um, just on the x-axis, just on the x-axis. So I want you to graph. It's, this is E versus X. Okay, so we just want to know, like, if you move this around here, as you go around here, what does the electric field on this axis look like? Go ahead and graph that. Okay, the electric field, um, when you're really close to the charge, it actually goes to infinity. So when you get really close, if you look at the electric field for a point charge, If that, if you're really close, then R is very close to a zero. When you divide something by zero, uh, a, math, a mathematician will tell you that that's undefined. But if you get really close to dividing by zero, that goes to infinity, and and is infinity at when you when you divide by zero. Okay, so um, so that this is what the graph looks like. It shoots way up. Is that what you were thinking? So it goes way up to infinity. Okay. Next one. Okay, here we have some charges. Um, let's say they're equal charges. Uh, this is the, the electric field they're making. You tell me um, what each charge is, positive or negative. 
Go ahead and guess. Okay, uh, I'm going to tell you that this charge is going to be positive, and I know that's positive because look, if I put a test charge here, it's going to be pulled in this way. If I put a test charge here, it'll be pulled in that way. Oh, so that's negative. This is negative. That's not a positive charge. That's a negative charge. It's almost looking, yeah, so, so that's a negative. And this is also a negative. Yeah, so these are both negative. If you're wondering what's happening in here at the dead center, I'm going to tell you the electric field, if these are equal in magnitude, at the dead center, the electric field is equal to zero. Um, where is it stronger? Where is the electric field stronger? Right here or right here? At A or B? The answer is that it's stronger at A because the field lines are more dense there. There's just more field lines there than here. In fact, right there it's zero. Okay, here are two po uh, a positive and a negative charge. Here are two points in space. Can you tell me the direction of the electric field right at this point? What is the direction of the electric field at that point? Go ahead and see if you can guess. Okay, well, if you just forget about this charge, this one is going to, if this is a test charge, and test charges are always positive, then you have a field this way. And this one has a field, say, maybe this way. So when I add up both of these fields, it turns out if I bring this one over here, tip to tail method, I get a field this way. So the field, if you're wondering what direction the field is, it's that way, this way. That's why the field lines would bend around like this and come down. You know, you get those field lines that look like this. And and so, the, like, if you want to know the field right here, it's tangent to that line. The field right here is tangent to that line. Okay, how about the field right here, then? Go ahead and try. Okay, this one is going to push it this way but a small amount, and this one is going to pull it this way a lot. It's a big force. And so when I add these two up, I'm going to get this force. If I bring this over here, I'm going to get this field that looks like this. I know this drawing is getting, but that's the field. You add both of those up, and that's the field right there, this guy. Ah. We have two more. Can we get these done? Hmm. We'll try. Okay, we have a dumbbell with um, a, po a positive charge and a negative, uh, a negative charge right there. And I'm wondering if you can tell me um, when I let this go, this is in a uniform electric field, will the thing accelerate or will it rotate? Okay, the answer is that the thing is going to um, not accelerate because the net charge on here is zero. This one gets pushed this way with the field and this one gets pushed against the field. And so the net charge is the net force rather, excuse me, is going to be zero. Net charge is zero too, but the net force is zero. However, it will rotate about this axis. And so it's going to rotate this way, but the center of mass will stay put. All right, rather than rush on these last two, we are going to just call this a video, and we'll do video three, and that will be the end of it, maybe a short video. See you then.